Hi, my name is Chisholm. Hi, my name is Tanner. And today, we're, we're getting, getting hot. hot. Every freaking time. <laughs> Today we are exploring nature. Mother nature. See, there are many things you can do to get hot or get yourself in better shape. Mm -hmm. And why not do something that's fun and get in touch with our roots? Our literal roots. Our tree roots. Our Indian roots. What better way to do an episode than to come hike through a nature preserve? Exactly. Out here in the woodlands, Texas. Go through this little trail here. We'll see you on the trails. I like that. Trailblazers. Trailblazers. Wait, trailblazers sounds like... That's a type of car. Yeah, it's a type of car. It doesn't matter. Or it's, to me it sounds like somebody gets blazed on a trail. <laughs> you need your walking stick. And my walking stick. Tip number one for the trails. Tanner's tips for the trails. Tanner's tips for the trails. I like that. First tip of the trail. You need a walking stick. See you on the trail. Here we are, out in the wild, the deep wild, really. Yeah. It's uh, it's really a gorgeous thing. I like the wild as much as I like the ocean. A lot? No, I hate, I hate it. Wait, why do you hate the ocean? Uh, sharks. Hello, jellyfish. That's another reason why. I hate That's it. why you hate the ocean? Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know if you guys can see this. There's like a like a fork in the road here. All right, so so which way do we take? So I'll go this way. Okay. You go that way. Wait, we're gonna split up. Yeah. You think it's a wise idea? I think yeah. Yeah. I think we need to take nature on by ourselves. I mean, if you think it's a good idea. I mean, are you gonna be scared? Um, I don't. I don't really know. Yeah, I think you're gonna be scared, aren't you? I don't. I don't really you're a know. Baby, why do you? <laughs> are you able to do it without me? Yeah, I can do it without you. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. I'll, I'm not. I'll go this way. All right. Have fun. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you, are you okay? I'm gonna be okay. Don't don't worry about me. So uh, Tanner decided that we should split up, and uh, so we're kind of going different ways. I thought that we were supposed to be getting hot together, but. I don't know, he wanted to split up, and so, now I'm kind of at a crossroads. See, this, this right here behind me, see this path? That is the beaten path. This right here is the path less traveled. And if we take anything from my friend Robert Frost, I think we know which trail I should take. Hello, and welcome to Tanner's Tips for the Trail. I'm going to be giving you tips for walking through nature because... Who knows more about nature than I do? First tip you need to know, always have a walking stick. Walking sticks help you walk, hence the name walking stick, and they also can be used as a defense mechanism if a wild creature attacks you, such as a bear, or a snake, or a barracuda. I'm not entirely sure if a barracuda lives in the forest, but if one did, you could kill it. If you decide to go hiking or, you know, go venture through your local nature preserve like I'm doing today, you might want to take some things with you that will be uh, like healthy snacks. Make sure to bring tons of water. Water is really important uh, because if you don't have water, then you probably will die. As we're going through the woods and everything, if you're feeling thirsty, you can always take a drink of water because you brought your water because you're not an idiot. Second tip of the trail, assume that every plant, every plant, is poison ivy. Because nobody wants to go home with an itchy body, or worse, an itchy bottom. Some examples of what you shouldn't trust on nature. Right here, poison ivy. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. I know what that says. It's still poison ivy. So just always assume that even the less dangerous things are dangerous. That way you won't die. I mean, you may die of starvation, since Chisholm took all the treats with him. Nutrition on the trail? I don't, I don't have much. Uh, I just picked up what I had in my house, something that normal people would have. Um, so I got a water bottle, number one. And I got 
a little snack pack. Look at that. I made that all by myself. We have an apple. Any sort of fruit really is good when you're out here. Uh, fruit has carbohydrates that give you energy. It has uh, natural sugars that give you energy. Um, and it'll just help you get through the day on the trail. This energy bar that I have, uh, I really like these. They're my favorites. Any sort of energy bar like this is going to have quite a bit of calories. Uh, but And it has some carbs, but you know when you're out hiking or doing something like that, it's a really good energy boost for you, and you could just do it as for like a lunch or something. So you know I brought my energy bar, energy bar, and my fruit, and that's going to be my lunch for today. And I also have my water, which will be my drink with my lunch. Well, it seems that we have come across an obstacle. We have come across a small canyon. The tip is. When you come across things that are dangerous, such as gaps in land, the only way to cross them is to jump over them. And we will jump together. And we made it. Booyah! There we were, there that was, and here we are now. We have made it across the small... Tanner? Ca what? Tanner? Tanner? Oh, someone knows me. Uh, okay, guys, uh, tip number eight. If you hear someone say your name, and you aren't Tanner! sure who it, is, who it is, you must attack them. Tanner! Okay? We're gonna attack them! Tanner, I see attack him. No, don't attack me! Don't attack me! Oh, oh, guess what it's you! Yeah, it's just me, man! Oh my god! What are you doing? Uh, I... I just crossed that small canyon over there. Oh, guys, it's, it's okay. okay. It wasn't a... It was just... It was just... It was just... It was just... It's just... Chism. You scared me a little bit there. <laughs> uh, Tanner and I found each other, which is a really great thing. Right, Tanner? It is beautiful. And uh, it, it, it's made me think, you know, one important thing is don't split up from your friends. Don't do that. We thought, hey, we're independent women. We can take, we on, can the take on the world. We don't need no And man. it turned out horribly for both of us. I almost got attacked by alligators. Tanner almost got eaten by a werewolf, apparently. Why did we think we could do it on our own in the first place? Which brings us to a good lesson, because every story has a moral. Mm. And the moral of this story is... Community. Community. Everything's better with friends. Is this where the alligators live? Yeah, this is where the alligators Right down there. See that? Right down there? Yeah. No! Don't go down there! Always remember, things are better with community. And sometimes, the friends you didn't know would be there, were always there in the end. We've reached the end of the trail, which, um... I don't know how, how to feel about this. I feel like I'm... Like I'm all with nature. I'm looking forward to seeing all your tips and using them for next time. I hope that they help you. Oh, they will. You see right down there? No, look, look down right there. You know what that is? What's that? Uh, that's where the comments are. Oh, down here? Yeah, right down there. Right. And uh, like right down here. Yeah, like right down there. Isn't there a little button they could press too? There is. It's it's red. It's red button. Here's the thing. If there's a red button below this video, it's bad. Bad, real bad. Hit the gray button. Hit the red button, make it gray. Gray, make it gray, yeah. Make it gray. Hashtag make it gray. Hashtag make it gray. The make it gray campaign. Gray is my favorite color, so if you care about that at all, you're gonna make it gray. It goes, Me! So go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think of nature and uh, how, how often you go out in nature. And you know what? Take some of Tanner's tips and, uh, and just go out and you know, just have just a good time. Blaze your own trail. Blaze your own trail to a healthy life. We'll see you next week. Love you. I'm, uh, I was just attacked by a dog. A dog and her owner. The dog tried to take my stick.